and we just come and visit the residents and give them a nice experience with the dog because we all know yep. that pet therapy is really good, lowers blood pressure, mm -hmm. makes people feel good. So that's what our goal is. You know, watching them smile and engage and interact and touch with a, like touch a dog is just yeah really beautiful. And the staff have definitely noticed that. Yeah, it's been a, a big hit over there. So, why do these dogs make you feel so good? And Bailey said, "Well, it's the way I feel inside when I'm around them. I can actually communicate with people." So, yeah. Animal assisted therapy, which is what I do with my poodles, is basically um, getting animals to help you deliver goal directed evidence based therapy, and you just have a very helpful, very motivating creature in the room to sort of bump things along a little bit. Can you feed Polly with this hand? Yes, you can. Try it. Try it. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Beautiful. Well done. How good is that? Very good. Do so our again. sessions can really yeah. vary depending on what the client needs as to how involved the dogs are with the session. Um, so for example, with a client that has Alzheimer's that I'm working with on communication, um, that particular patient that I work with tends to get quite frustrated with herself and, and gets quite worked up if she can't communicate or get out what she wants. Um, and of course, as soon as she gets frustrated, she gets it's harder for her to communicate. Um, so I really use the dogs as a bit of a circuit breaker for her. Um, so they are free to wander around the room. They're free to sit next to her on a chair next to her. They're free to sit under her feet or whatever it might be. Um, and she just every now and then I'll say give the dog a treat or let's just give the dog a pat and or the dog will notice that she's upset and they'll put their head on her lap and she'll just pat it and that's enough for her to sort of reset refocus and get back into it um, with Bailey man in his 20s who's got um, a history of epilepsy and um, we work a lot on practical um, sort of communication skills and the dogs really help him in being confident in social situations so um, he we do a lot of functional things with going around the hospital talking to people ordering coffees going into shops um, and just having the dog with him gives him a bit more confidence to be able to talk to people well when we come to Sutherland we actually visit uh, people where they are Um, we just walk around to those who want to say hello. We're always very conscious that not everybody wants to say hello. And there's sometimes those who are not out of the, you know, able to come out of their rooms very often or don't have many visitors. They're the people we actually concentrate on. So I have a little list of people I usually go to visit and as long as they're well enough to see us, we pop in. Lucy says hello. We stay for as long as, as it feels right. Yeah, we oh, work out! Sit down. Get out of my bum. Are you right there, Yvonne? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is what we do. Oh, you know, you say Lucy. Don't we? Just my That's nails. exactly That's right. Nails. If the person is exactly tired, right. we don't stay very long. If they're looking for a chat or they want a little bit more company, we stay for a little bit longer. Yeah, we've had some really lovely feedback, particularly from the residents at, um, over in aged care, um, that they've found it to be, yeah, just like a piece of home, something really nice. And he said to Bailey, what, why does these do why do these dogs make you feel so good? And Bailey said, well, it's the way I feel inside when I'm around them, I can actually communicate with people. So yeah, the therapy dogs make a huge difference to his life. What do you see? Um, we just see confidence, Bailey. Yeah, really confident, really happy, really confident. Um, can't wait to get to his appointments with Shay. Can't wait to see Polly and Basil. Yeah. I think one of the most loveliest things is when I see the smiles from people who are often a little bit confused and finding being here sometimes a bit challenging. And when they suddenly relax and smile when they see Lucy, that warms my heart, which means I come back again. And also, it's lovely for Lucy, and it's lovely for the people here.